As autumn edges towards winter in this 950 hectare London park, an extraordinary annual event is taking place. Richmond Park, home to herds of fallow and red deer. Over 600 deer live here among the ancient wood and grasslands. It's quiet. The stags and bucks are resting, conserving their energy. For the past nine months, the males have been growing antlers, readying themselves. Over the next fortnight, male deer will lose up to a third of their body weight. They will barely sleep or eat as they prepare themselves for the most important struggle of their lives. It's rutting season, and the prize for the males is mating rights. There's a strict hierarchy here. Red deer form harems, one large stag to a group of hinds. The stag's testosterone levels peak at this time of year. They lick and taste the air to see if the hinds are in season. While the large males strut and fight to protect their harem, younger males will try to sneak in and mate with the hinds while the alpha males are otherwise engaged. Until they are large and powerful enough to have a harem of their own, this is the best chance they've got. For the fallow deer, the behavior is a little different. Bucks form a leg, a gathering of males engaged in a competitive display to attract potential mates. Four or five large bucks will control as many as 40 does. And their behavior ranges from parallel walking, to groaning, and inevitably, fighting. As the rutting season ends and winter sets in, things will be calmer. The males will shed their antlers and the pregnant females will eat and rest. Late spring and Richmond Park is verdant Everywhere, new life abounds. The male deer have started their antler growth cycle again. Antlers are made of bone, which develop from a point on the top of the skull called the pedicle. During the growth phase, the protrusions are covered with hairy skin called velvet which is filled with nerves and blood vessels and is very sensitive to the touch. For the females, between April and June, it's birthing season. Over 200 fawns are born in the park at this time of year. Somewhere here, Amongst the long grass and bracken, the females hide their speckled, well-camouflaged fawns. They are almost impossible to spot. Mothers have to leave their fawns in order to forage for food. They are on high alert though, and are watchful for any potential predator that comes near. They stand their ground too. In order
order to survive, fawns stand within 10 minutes of birth and can walk within eight hours. This mother, with her twin two-week-old fawns in tow, is agile. And so are the fawns. Safe now with their mothers and relatives, these beautiful babies take their place in the herd. And as summer turns to autumn, the cycle will begin again for the deer of Richmond Park. An oasis in London.